What up y'all and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Today we are taking on one of my least favorite fish, cod. I know I've given it a really bad rap here because it's just dry and it's really flaky doesn't have any flavor whatsoever and it's just it's just one of those terrible fish that I just don't like cooking. But today I'm going to show you a quick trick to turn it into something that's buttery, silky and smooth and then turn that cod into some delicious cod cakes that I know your entire family is going to really enjoy. In fact, you're probably going to enjoy it. In fact, I know that you're going to enjoy it. You know, what did the shark say, Jesse, when it was searching for months for food and couldn't find any and then finally found some food? I don't know. Said, thank God. And that's what you're going to be saying after this video. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> ah, I caught you slipping. You weren't ready for that dad joke. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is poach our cod because we have to have cooked cod in order to make the cod cakes. That was like a lot of alliteration. Do you get wow. that? <laughs> Cook cod to make the cod cakes. Keep it going, keep it going. You know going. I got bars for days. <laughs> Instead of water, we're gonna be using some almond milk. We're gonna bring this to a gentle simmer and I'm going to add in a pinch of some sea salt, a little bit of black pepper, some lemon, and then some bay leaves. That's just uh, whenever you wanna poach something, I always put in a good old bay leaf because it adds a lot of flavor, but it's not required. It's like your parents curfew. I mean, it's not required for you to come back this time, but it really is though. We don't want this to be a rapid boiling. We want this really gentle. So now we're going to take our cod and we're going to place it in the milk. Then we're going to let this poach for about six to eight minutes, maybe even 10 minutes until the fish is cooked all the way through. And just a few minutes later, we have our beautiful poached cod and add it right into our bowl. And look how much creamier it is. Now we're gonna set this aside to cool down to room temperature so we can begin to make our cakes. So with our poached cod cooled down, it's time to start to make the batter for the cakes. I am going to whisk in an egg. I'm gonna add some green veggies. So I've got some chopped green onion here. I'm gonna get this as fine as possible. Some celery. With the celery, I'm gonna chop off the white part and then I'm going to cut this along the grooves into really small pieces so that I can dice this up. Add in the celery, sprinkle in a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna use some olive oil mayo, a little dab of this. You can add in some Dijon or some stone ground mustard. Hit it with a little hot sauce. Now I'm gonna mash up everything together and you're gonna flake the fish too with your fork. It should break easily into pieces. And the more you mix and mash it up, the stickier it should become. And so now you can't make a crab cake or any seafood cake without the dry ingredients. So we're gonna be using some wheat saltine crackers that I saw at the grocery store. Didn't know they made these, but this is a new thing. All right, give everything a good stir. And we want them crackers to sop up all the extra moisture in there. Now for best results, we're gonna set this in the fridge, let this harden up for about 20 minutes. I like to use an ice cream scoop to keep this pretty uniform. Scoop them out and again, make it to a ball. And I like to have mine about the medallion size. I don't like to do the really big ones because they will break up really easily inside of the skillet. Now let's fire up the skillet and cook these bad boys. You grab yourself a nonstick skillet, put this on a medium heat, drizzle in a little bit of avocado oil, and then add in the cod cakes. Since the fish is already cooked, we don't have to have too much. We just want it to get nice and crispy on the outside, add some color to it. So we don't need to deep fry these or do too heavy cooking. Enjoy these as a snack, or if you want, with a nice side salad. I've got a quick arugula salad here, with lemon, a little bit of vinegar, add in some of our beautiful cod cakes. All right, man, this has been smelling so good. I've been waiting to do this. Oh. I like the fact that the salt crystal is just right there on top. The salt flake, just chilling, just chilling, waiting, waiting for me to take a nice bite of it. Okay, now, this is the cod that I would actually eat every single day. This is good cod. Good God, that's cod. Mmm, <laughs> cloquet with the fun today. You wanna try one? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good, right? That is 
cod with some personality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that cod you can actually stay for dinner. Isn't it buttery? Mm -hmm. With that, as, as if we added butter, or if it was maybe like a fatter fish, but it's not. And the crunch is still there with a the little, little bit of celery. Mm-hmm. Well done, cool Kev. Yeah, well, well done. Well, you know, Jesse, I've really been mm -hmm. trying, man. I really be trying, bro. I appreciate yeah. you. Hype me up like that. Oh, it's pretty good since you just like started doing this yesterday. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of just yeah. started. Let's yeah. just put up the camera and buy some stuff for a backdrop. Get us some ingredients. Well, y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. I want you to run out and try this recipe and see if you were like me and you were not a big fan of cod, if this can change your mind. If you like videos like this, I invite you to smash that like button below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember y'all, you've got to ring that little bell up there so that way you can be notified whenever we post hot new content here to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Reminder to follow me at Fit Man Cook on Instagram and Facebook on Twitter for daily inspiration content and the randomness and everything in between. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Boom! Bye, y'all.